This quite literally has to be one of the worst orders that I've ever done. And because this chick decided to not put her porch light on, um, high powered flashlight just to piss her off because I'm not doing this shit today. Hi guys, how's it going? I hope everybody is having an amazing day. Listen, um, we are out here. It is 5.42. We got a very late start. I didn't get out of school until five o'clock. Um, we have like a little pride nail contest going on. So I was spending my time working on that, but I did make $5 in tips today at school, which is like so, so, but whatever. I mean, people don't have to tip it all there. So I'm starting off with $5 um, in profit today. We're just going to go ahead and get into this video. I made the choice to myself to not work worry about my acceptance rate until like I have the money to do so because right now I'm, I'm just gonna have to cherry pick like I'm there I can't do the no tips the earn by time things like that and worry about the acceptance rate at this very moment so I did decline a couple orders on DoorDash before I got this one right here $12 for five miles I believe it is for city barbecue we are here now we're gonna go in there and grab that order um my acceptance rate is still at a 34. I'm gonna try to still like keep it up, but it's just lately with the earn by time, it's been absolutely trash. And in the one earn by time video, I did 21 orders in a row. So while I'm trying to get my acceptance rate up, there's going to be 21 orders that I would have to accept in a row if I don't want my acceptance rate to go down. And I don't wanna even go through that turmoil. So I would prefer to just kind of wait until that passes and then try again to get my acceptance rate up. So. With that being said, again, I hope you guys are out there making lots of money. If I'm riding along with you while well, you're riding along with me, I hope that I can keep you some company and entertain you a little bit. And we're just gonna get this day going, you guys. So let's get it. you guys so we got that dropped off nice twelve dollar no hidden tip or anything like that but it's totally okay so then we got this next order here so they sent us a seven dollar for three mile chili's order right right then they added on a nine dollar canes for an additional three miles which is totally fine canes you do have to place the order and this will be my first time doing a canes order which thank goodness last night guys i like was i lost my wallet it was i don't know where it went I literally searched everywhere. I tore everything up. I could not find it anywhere. And I ended up, um, and I ended up finding it, but it had my red card in it. So if I didn't have my wallet, I wouldn't have had my red card. I'm about to add all that into my Apple wallet because that would have sucked if I couldn't like do that. But I'm going to not worry about my acceptance rate because they're also sending me orders like this, like 45 items for what was it, $6, I don't remember, but you guys see it, $6, 45 items, and I have to shop for it at Petco? No, thank you, I'm not doing that, and I don't care how much I care about my acceptance rate. Like, you guys, if you're asking these people, like, listen to me, customers, if you're asking people to fucking shop for you, tip, tip the freaking driver. Like, I don't know how many times that we have to tell you this, how many times we have to complain about it, how many times uppity people who don't understand are like, we'll get a real job and shit like that. Like, just tip. Like, if you want your shit and you want the luxury of getting stuff shot for you, bagged for you, paid for, like, not paid for, but, you know, we pay for it, we, we go through the lines, we load it up in the car, we unload it, all that other shit while you sit there in your bunny slippers and your robe tip the driver like it, it i don't know it doesn't compute in my brain how somebody can place that order and be like oh, i'm not gonna tip like it does not compute but regardless of that little rant we are at chili's now so we're gonna go ahead and grab this chili's order and get this 16 dollars order done and we're just gonna you know let the day just take us wherever it wants to take us so let's go get it faster than like most other restaurants.
All right, you guys, I didn't really get those drop-offs because they were both hands to me and I didn't even realize that they were hand to me. But so we got this shopping order at all these. You already know it's $17 for like four miles, 18 things. Cannot beat it. You see my little thing is happy for this shopping order because it's going to put us at like $45 already. So I made 28 so far on DoorDash and then this will be another 17. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and do that, you know, and then we're going to get back on the dash and see what's shaking bacon. So let's go get it. You guys so the instacart order was dropped off and then i got this little thing like yeah you completed like I, I completed like 200 all these orders shopped at 10 different locations like all these is my store all you all these later all you all these haters aka johan all these hater but um we got this walmart spark here is eight dollars it's nothing like too crazy but it did bring me back into the zone the doordash just got red again and i have that on so if they send me a good order that maybe i can dirty stack with that'd be great um there are a couple cars out here so i don't know how long i'm gonna wait on this order but i do have an incentive of um today any order that i take curbside only i'll get an additional five dollars so it's technically a 13 dollar order but i won't see that five until um like tuesday or something but it's still an extra five dollars like i'm not even mad at it whatever but if they take like more than 10 minutes to bring this out then um i'll probably just go ahead and drop it especially if i get another good order for um another app because i have them all on except for grubhub so i'm rambling i'm yabbing on um hopefully i can make at least like an ex like another like 40 dollars before i go home because it is now like 750 um to just kind of you know make it at least 80 bucks today hopefully yeah so let's get it they're loading up the car now it took about two minutes So I was like totally about to just give up. I'm like, I, I literally got all the way to the Walmart like that's in my vicinity. I was gonna go pick up the baby. I was gonna go to Walmart, get like some those Chef Boyardee pizza kits and make pizzas tonight. And then I got this freaking $37 or $34 um, Walmart pickup order, which is so cool because I was like, I just need like 40 more dollars and that's about what it is. So um, that really comes in clutch. So hopefully it's a real order. There's like nobody here. So hopefully they come out fast for me and that will be what ends our shift. It is three people, but it's like, I think it said like four miles, not even. Hopefully no apartments and large packs of water since Uber Eats doesn't tell you what the customer got. They just tell you how, like, they don't even tell you like how many bags or how many items. They just tell you the customers and the drop-offs and they don't even tell you the addresses of the drop-offs. They just give you a little icon. So they are a little shady for that. I wish Uber Eats would change that, but whatever at least the money comes immediately you don't have to wait in a day for tips you don't have to wait an hour for tips and yeah so i'll let you guys know if it's real or not and that'll be our last order for the day so i hope you guys had an amazing freaking friday i can't wait to see you guys for our saturday night live you probably see the saturday night live before you see this but you know i'm just trying my best to get these out here um these videos out here and yes I love you guys and thank you so much for subscribing, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.
I'm gonna learn how to freaking turn your porch lights on and little night when people are delivering your groceries. The other two customers were both three-story apartments, so walking it all up by myself, not even an answer at the door. No, I like patience this slow. I should have never even took this order, but whatever. I'm almost done with it, so let's just get this done. Cause my God. Ugh.